I should get back to the Express. Or maybe I could say my final goodbye to Acheron. They, they leave it as optional to say goodbye to Acheron. Who in their right mind would bypass that? Acheron. I'm glad we get to say bye to her at least once. I thought, I thought for sure at the end of 2.2, she literally said, this is our final, this is our farewell before she slashed the dreamscape. It's surprising to see her here. Kind of nice, but this might actually be the farewell. Do you still remember when we first arrived in Panacone? Who would have thought our paths would cross in such a way? Right. Will we meet again? The ocean of stars is vast. And given our destinations, I'm afraid our paths may not cross again. You never know. Some shit might go down and we might need you. Don't say that, Acheron. But the trailblazing expedition ahead is always full of unknowns. And my blade is sharp enough to sever fate. As long as we maintain our original resolve, I believe there will come a day where we will meet again. I believe that. Have we ever met before? Ah. In that case, I must apologize for my rudeness. Do you remember when we first met? I once said you reminded me of an acquaintance. Because of the self-annihilator's curse, my memories are stripped away, blurring my past. And after our journey together, what I originally thought were familiar feelings were merely illusions. I believe this was truly our first meeting. Oh man, these are two good answers. What if that wasn't an illusion? With this our, as our first meeting, we can con consider our next meeting to be a reunion. That's right. What matters more is not who I am, but what we have done together. This story will forever be etched in my heart. Oh. Who are who exactly are you? <sighs> Come to think of it, I didn't even get a chance to formally introduce myself. Simply put, I'm a self-annihilator who was cursed by the nihility. My hometown was destroyed a long oh, time ago. Backstory! and the whole world was erased beneath their shadow. In order to fight against the cruel end of self-destruction, I went on a journey in search of a way to sever the chains of the nihility. After a long and grueling search, I am convinced that my destination lies within the depths of the dark web, where reality and the nihility are separate. In there lurks a secret called Device Nine, one day, I'll reach it. Ooh, Device 9. That's a weird name, too. Makes it sound like it's technological. Have you ever met before? Uh, I see this. Oh, I get to answer it. What if that wasn't an illusion? What do you mean? It's improbable that you've crossed paths with my past self. What I mean is, there is nothing left to retrace there. Only nihility. I think I might have seen someone like you. I see. You've also had a similar experience? Is this breaking the fourth wall? Then you should know that this me and your memory of me are not the same person. <gasps> Secret answer? Wait, that is, it kinda, that's kind of creepy. But some things will never change. Is this a response to everyone uh, calling out or her character appearing in both in the other games in Honkai Impact 3rd and in Genshin Impact? Long ago, I too was like you, with irreplaceable companions. We also embarked on journeys, making the best choices we could whenever we could. Unfortunately, we didn't achieve the outcome we wanted. But moments like this make me feel like they never even left. She said her real name, and it's a reference to a character that exists in Genshin Impact and Honkai Impact 3rd. In this universe, there exist countless worlds that are similar yet different, and countless people who are alike yet distinct. 
This is totally breaking the fourth wall. I too have wandered alone, encountering acquaintances on strange worlds, seeing their silhouettes overlap with my past. Ooh. In your opinion, what does this deja vu mean? Perhaps some sort of sentimental attachment, the wish to return to the past, a longing for a certain someone. I think I wish to return to the past. Attachment, desire, longing. They may all be right, but they are all incomplete. I believe it's not something external, but something that originates within us. An emotion that traverses time from a certain moment of our past to reach us. Perhaps it's a source of warmth and happiness. Or maybe it brings pain and sorrow. Each time we reminisce on our past, we always seem to notice a tiny but unforgettable instant that we left behind us. Along with certain other things that remain constant throughout. God damn it, Karan. That is a summary of our lives. Encapsulating everything about us in these moments. Proof of our shared path. Within them, we glimpse our own essence. And thus, we truly exist. God damn. Hey, you know what? She just finished her mission with uh, Tyrion. Why don't she just join us on the Astral Express? Come on, Acheron. Just like everyone in this story, hurtling onwards along the path of destiny with passion and courage for the things that breathe meaning into their lives. Set forth on your voyage without hesitation, Nameless, on the path of the Trailblaze. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. Acheron is literally talking directly to me right now. But before that, on the road towards the end, there are still many things that we can do. I don't know how she does it. Allegra Kark is like slays at every role that she plays. And I'm so glad that she voices Acheron. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. This is the meaning of journey. All those things, beautiful before, are still so now. And I believe it will still bloom at the end of the nihility. Until we meet again beneath the sun's rays. Oh, good. What a way to cap off Acheron's journey in this game. <laughs>